Oh, this I totally just stole the show from you. <laughs> I, I it's your show. I'm oh, sorry, you, you're doing a try. I apologize. No. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining to the live today. As you know, we are we are with Lady Vieira. Hello. We will start in five minutes, so please join. Wait for, for the big stuff. That's right. You, you can ask everything Any, you want. Anything. Even why is the sky blue? <laughs> why is the sky blue? Um. How do plants <laughs> grow from the ground? Lady Vian has the answers, people. I've got the answers. Ask me. That's why I put this note here. Ask me. Okay. Because I, I look like Jesus. That's yeah. the comparison you see. Jesus knows everything. You're always hyperactive, right? Oh, yeah. You too, though, yeah? Yeah, I know, I know, yeah. but you're more like me, like, you know, <laughs> you know, the first time I met you, I was surprised because, you know, I'm a hyperactive mm -hmm, person, mm -hmm. and it was the first time I met so someone similar as me. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's good. Yeah, it's good. no, no, no. I, I love, I love it. Like me. No, that's right. But your hyperactivity is very intense, like, you stop yeah. you sleeping and so forth, yeah? yeah? <laughs> Can you sleep now? Has you fixed it? Have you sleep now? What do you mean? I'm sorry. Well, because when we first met, you said that your hyperactivity like stopped you from sleeping and kind mm. of yeah, 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 a yeah, bit yeah, of a burden yeah, in your life. Yeah. Have you fixed that? Like, no, I so can't. You still can't I feel sleep. I can't. Really? So you still can't sleep? How many hours a night do you sleep? Like four hours. Four hours. It depends on the day because there are days like I only sleep like two hours. Really? And it's kind. Of, but you know, my body is like tired. I feel like I'm tired, mm. but I can move. I, I I can't stop. Right. I see. So you're it's not crazy. You're not sleeping during the day yeah no no really it's like a superpower to yeah. me because if, if you can then if you can save all those hours that everyone else is spending sleeping and then not be affected by it mm -hmm. my situation is i go to bed and i can't fall asleep i'm very bad at falling asleep once i finally do then i can't wake up mm. so if i like the only way i get a proper rest is if i can sleep in like if i don't have anything to do until 6 p.m. or something, or mm -hmm. at least until 2, where I can just go to bed and just stay there. Once I'm finally asleep, just stay there until I don't need to wake up. Mm, but know? for me, it's really crazy because even when I wake up, you know, you open your your uh, eyes, mm. and I start, my brain starts to think stuff all the time. It goes crazy, really. You're an artist, Debit. You're an no, artist. No, I, I don't think I don't No, think that's, 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 a common, <laughs> that's a common trait of the artist. Yeah, but that's I'm fantastic. But you know, I'm worried because. When I become older, mm. I feel like maybe my, my body will say, okay, yeah, I know your brain wants to move, but you are not going to move. Affect you adversely. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, I hope the uh, lack of sleep doesn't affect your body adversely as well. That's concerning. Mm. Um, but look, you know, for, for right now, it's good. Right now, you get to you get four hours a day that everyone else loses on sleep. Yeah, for me, it's, I, know, I know it's an illness because I heard that. I heard that from the, um, the doctor? doctor. Right. But I think it's a, it's a good illness, right? Mm. It, Why? It, it, I that's kind a, of weird because... Well, I think it's not an illness, like a superpower, you know? That's, 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 that's a condition which empowers your life instead of hindering your life. So I'm it's the Superman. opposite of a disability. <laughs> it's a super ability. Debbie Mann! Debbie Mann! <laughs> Debbie Mann! Here to save, save you all. Good stuff. Let's say hi to everybody. Hello, Laura. Hey, sweetheart. 5 a.m. Hey, Rini. Hey, sweetheart. Daniel Y. Good to see you. Now, well, call. People from Spain too, right? I'm Spain too. Hey! How do I say, um, is it morning time in Spain? Is it morning afternoon? No, it's like nine. nine. I think it's like 4 a.m. 4 a.m.? <laughs> yeah, and people... How do I say good evening in Spanish? Okay, buenas, buenas noches. Buenas noches, <laughs> my friends in Spain. Hey, there's an Italian accent I switched to. <laughs> yeah, like, bad. and you, you also... Daylight. I did hey! Hey! <laughs> I can't do a Spanish impersonation. Hey! Good so, up. there are those what people. Are Barcelona. Yeah. Good to see you. Six. Eugene257. Oh, great. Ole, ole. Lovely to see you, everybody. Thank you for tuning in for the USA. All right. What's up, Katina? Good to see ya. This is, all this is awesome. Look at this technology. Right? We're having a live conversation with people on the other side of the world. Without the use of a telephone, you used to need the telephone to do that. Do you remember yeah. when the mobile phones, when you watch the old like eighties and nineties Jackie Chan movies, where they have a mobile phone, it's mm -hmm. that huge brick of a thing with an aerial. The Nokia, right? <laughs> Worse than that, it was aerial and everything. You had to take the aerial yeah, yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, you remember yeah, that? Yeah, I remember. I remember. Those were the days, weren't they? That was. But when we had them, when we first got them, people were like. You mean you can walk away from the phone and still talk? It was amazing, right? It was crazy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Technology has expanded Ooh. rapidly. Ah, oh, Nihongo. Oh, have have you been in Japan? Oh. How is it? How about Spain? Yeah, have I been to Spain? I I think this person is Spanish. So oh, but, okay. But so he's talking oh, in Japanese. So yeah, yeah. So um, have you been in Spain? I have. I've been to Madrid. It was fantastic. It was fantastic. I had a blast in Madrid. We went to Madrid and then we went to um Cordoba. Cordoba. Cordoba, and we went. Really, I didn't yeah, know that. Yeah, it was fantastic. You hide that from me. 
Wait, really? Did I heard that from? Yeah, you're yeah, yeah, something that. Okay, <laughs> Where, where's your hometown? My ta- hometown is. Uh, you know the. Do you, have you been? I have you heard about Don Quixote? Yeah. The story. So that that's where I was born. The really? place is Tarazona de la Mancha. Is the name? Is like long, kind of long. Did we go there? No, no, no. Yeah, I don't I think so. Go. I don't think so. Okay. But so uh, is the place is Castilla La Mancha, and that's right. where Don Quixote story. Yeah, 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 yeah. And how how was Cordoba? France is beautiful. Because it's people incredible. people from Madrid or Cordoba is totally different, I think. Yeah, right. Well, I mean, you know, we only went there sightseeing, so we went to that ah, okay. old now church, formerly mosque. Beautiful, beautiful building, full of insanity. <laughs> Walking through that thing is just what the hell is going <laughs> on? It's it's just there's no non station. It's what the it's like except, ah, except old yeah, and yeah, Spanish. Yeah, yeah. Nah. <laughs> Love to see everybody. Thank you all for tuning in. Greece from Colombia. Hey, Victor. Good to wow. see you. Good stuff, everybody. By the way, are you going here. to Peru? I'm going to Peru. Right? I, I think I heard that. I can't wait. It's going to be awesome. Where, can, can you say the date or do you know the dates? I, I'm not sure. Uh, well, now go. Peru wa. Peru no date wa. Peru wa. Now go. Now go's finding out now. It's one day at a time in Lady Beard World, people. One day at a time. 24, 25. But what? Don't know. Don't know. Okay, June, June 24th, 25th? Did you rock? Did you rock? So, June 24th, 25th, we're in Peru! Bam! It's going to be a good time. I can't wait. Seeing everybody. Is it good stuff? There? Yeah, Peru, yeah. It must yeah. be crazy. I, I can't I love wait. So, I can't I wait. I want to go there, so. It's going to be bananas. I can't wait. <laughs> Uh, Naoko, do you need some kikimasu? Naoko, more koko ni imasu ka? So, yeah. so there are people Kokonu. asking about you. Naoko, you must have come. <laughs> so, so. Ichika. She's Naoko! Ichika. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it's Naoko this day! Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah! 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 Yeah, so we were shooting our second music video, uh, which featured the set of which I won't tell you about the set, but it featured these two teddy bears, one small, one enormous. Um, and so we have a bunch of, uh, uh, I'm going to check if I'm allowed to talk about this now, but so we had, we had like, good. I wanted to check. We had a ton of extras, right? <laughs> had a ton of extras. And yeah, so yeah, between yeah. shots, normally when you're shooting something, you kind of, you do it, take the shot and you just kind of wait for the next shot. Then you take the next shot, right? So between the shots, we're talking to all these extras and whatnot. And um, we had these two bears there, these two teddy bears. And so I said, um, these are our bears. They are the third and fourth members of Deadlift Lolita. Uh, that's Raker's bear. That's my bear. Uh, Raker, what's your bear's name? And Raker said, this is uh, Kumanju. This is Kumanju. Kumanju. <laughs> Kumanju. That's right. The small is Kumanju. And we said, oh, hello, Kumanju. And we spoke about Kumanju for a bit. <laughs> And then she asked, what's your bear's name? And I said, Brian. And I said, everyone, this is Brian. And um, that's the end of that story. Huh? What? 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 <laughs> what do you call There Brian? are two bears! <laughs> Deadly Blow Leader. There's me, Raker, and two bears. Kumanju, which is currently doing a Raker cosplay. And Brian, who is oh, sitting over. That's go, Brian. Go, you can I'll see go, Brian, David. <laughs> I see, I see. Brian needs to lose some weight. He's a, he's a large bear. <laughs> Um, well, everyone's here, so it's ten past. Should we get involved in some in some madness, some yeah. asking, some yeah, yeah, insanity? Yeah. Thank you for coming to our Ask Me Anything. You can ask me anything you like. Anything. Anything. You could ask me why, like, if you wanted to, if you felt so inclined. <laughs> you could ask me on the clock why, like, um, it always goes this way, right? Well, what would happen if it started going yeah, yeah, the yeah, other yeah, way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could ask me that if that was a question that interests you. You could ask me, um, you could ask me, like, if you have one finger that was, like, longer than all the others. What? Like, if you have, if your pinky finger extended to here. Yeah. Like, what occupations would that be a strength in? Really? What do you think? If you had an extremely long pinky finger, what occupation do you think that would provide a strength in? Anyone? This has become Lady Beard asks you anything. (laughs) Anyone with an idea about the length of a pinky finger? And jobs it could enhance. Let me know. Oh, I guess uh, we get any questions. Can in you music. talk about that? <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. That's okay. fine. Uh, hang on. What's going on here? Uh, who's my favorite superhero and why? That's a good one. I like Thor. I like oh, Thor Oh, the one much. with the, with the hammer. Yeah, 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 I like Because we have the same haircut. <laughs> and, <laughs> and color, right? That's color right. Too. And I like hammers. You know? I think hammers, hammers and axes, I think, are cool weapons. Everyone likes swords, you know? Everyone's into swords. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like yeah, hammers yeah, yeah. and axes. So in Lord of the Rings, I like the dwarves. 
Because yeah, yeah, yeah. firstly, I like their attitudes. Secondly, I like their beards. And thirdly, because they have the axes, you know? But I, I, I think I know the reason because you like that. Why? Because you like to destroy, right? Well, I like to destroy, of course. <laughs> the only way. I and I find reason. an axe is a better destructive <laughs> weapon, but a destructive force than a sword. That's my opinion. That's my opinion. Thank you, Rudy. That's an excellent question. All right, what's going on here? It's questions, questions. People shit some on time. Yeah. Here we go. What style of clothing do you prefer to use as a maid or a schoolboy? Uh, I think the question is, do I prefer maid or Fuku? Or yeah, 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 yeah. So, 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 so. Which do you prefer? Um, well, well there, it's kind of all clothing variations. Yeah. It's sort of apples and oranges, you know. So I find that different um, costumes and different mm, mm, mm. outfits bring out certain things in me. So I kind of like all of them reasonably equally. Uh, they just sort of all access different parts of me. Yeah. So when I put on a sailor fuku, the first thing I want to do is do taekwondo. Like I put on the sailor, f the short skirt, yeah, yeah, and it makes me want to kick, right? Because it's so easy to move my legs. You told me that. I yeah, that's one of the reasons I got into cosplaying in the first place. Sorry, uh, cross dressing in the first yeah, place. Yeah, yeah. It's because I could kick easily, right? So I put on the little sailor skirt, and it makes me want to do taekwondo instantly. Mm. When I put on a maid fuku, it makes me more. It makes me more kind of like um, <laughs> I want to elbow things. I want to. Actually, like hammer fist things and whatnot. Yeah. <laughs> this is what. This is the great irony of Lady Beard. I put on a really cute, cute dress and then want to smash things. That's that's how I roll, people. That's how I roll. This is my life. It's a good time. But this one, answer, uh, Kendra <laughs> Jones Snyder, maybe. I'm sorry. Oh, this what? one. So Kendra Jones Snyder. Oh, what's my favorite movie? I like Blade, starring Wesley Snipes. Wow. That's my favorite movie. Ever. Have you seen Blade? Yeah, I saw. But Love like, Blade. I don't know, maybe nineties. Yeah, nineties, ninety, nine, ninety-seven, I think. If I, I think I'm gonna have to give it to Blade as my favorite superhero because I think he's fantastic. Right, Dave, he's a, a good raw, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He uses a sword, so my whole axe argument just went out the window. But I'm very pro Blade. I love Blade. It's my favorite movie. Mm. So that movie, um, with the exception of Kalainus, really combines all the things that I love. All the, in terms of you know the destroy side of it. It combines all the things I love because the action is very good. It has the horror element with the vampires. And I think it's actually a very well shot and very well put together film. It's very well scripted, very well put together film. That's the other thing. So I love Blade. It's uh, my favorite film ever. Absolutely love it. Good stuff. Okay, this question questions. is asking, you know, can, I ask, can I ask why is your work out? Maybe, my work out. maybe what, do you do, what do you do every day for work out? It's a great question. Mm, um, I think so. It varies a lot because now the amount of stuff that I do is so varied. So, you know, do martial arts training and wrestling training and dancing and do the weightlifting and then like alternate cardio mm. and whatnot. So I do so much different stuff now. It's kind of hard to say what my workout is, but it's generally like the focus is really, I guess, weightlifting mm, mm, mm. three or four times a week. And then the other focuses kind of vary depending on what I'm doing at the time. So recently, because we've been doing Deadlift Lolita, it's been a lot of dancing. And that takes care of my cardio. And I don't need to do any that's dancing That's good, that's good, that. that's good. You know what I'm saying? Because I found that um, out of all the training I've ever done, dancing and screaming at the same time is the best cardio I've ever done. It's Whoa. better than it's like better than the treadmill. It's better than Thai boxing. It is exhausting. So, but you must do really a lot of stress, right? It's like no stress, no more. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, well, it, you release everything, you know. Like after, afterwards, I afterwards, feel like that. I saw your life. It's like what? Yeah, totally. You release everything afterwards. You're not moving anymore. I was putting a bunch of pieces of paper here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on here? Okay, okay, okay. Notes, okay. notes from the okay. notes from the okay, top. Okay. Let's see what's going here. Maybe guttural scream of metal from Acabrera. Okay, we better find the question because I'm not sure what the actual know. question is. Thank you everyone for joining this Ask Me Anything. Things being asked. What's your favorite movie, David? My favorite movie? Wow, good question. I'm not sure. <laughs> but my favorite, I can talk about my favorite my favorite anime, but not my favorite movie. What's your favorite anime? My favorite anime is Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon. Oh, okay, that's good. It's a classic. Because they, they told you know, a story about powerful girls mm. who can do anything. They do depends on men. Mm. And I don't know, they save the world. Mm, they do. And they, there is a lot of gay characters. And for me, it was like, you know. <laughs> Are there? There's uh, a, there's, it's full of gay characters. I never realized that. Yeah, even lesbian. They, like, really? Uh, I never realized that. And Neptune and Uranus. They are lesbians. So it's all lesbians? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never yeah, had yeah. any idea about so, that, really. I never okay. had any idea about that. So, oh, sorry. Maybe I'm, um, maybe I'm an inept anime watcher. I think there's <laughs> no, no, no. a lot of things like this that I miss. 
Do you remember The Simpsons back in the 90s? Oh, okay, yeah. I yeah. didn't realise for years that Smithers was a gay character. And really? was in love with Mr. Really? Burns. For really? years! Really? I was like, oh, yeah. Oh, my he's, God. He's, he, is, he is a hard worker, you know? He <laughs> likes, his, likes his boss a lot. That's what I always thought it was. Maybe I'm just an inept, moronic <laughs> consumer of media. <laughs> okay, so well, let's start with that. This, this, fails this person things. is like, a copyright is there. Maybe a girl, I'm not sure. Okay. So she's oh, yeah, just I'll asking for do that. Okay. So I don't know if you can do it. Um, oh, so, so, as you would like yeah, me, yeah, yeah, like yeah. me to scream. Yeah. Okay, all right. Wow. That's how we do that. <laughs> so, next question. Do you like manga? <laughs> so just, sorry. What movie? What movie I don't know, there's a lot of questions, so we must have moved. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! There's no time to waste! No, let's go! Do I like manga, anime, or... Light novel, like novel. Oh, light, do you know light novel? Well, light, novel, li uh, novels. Um, yeah, no, I, I very much um uh, like watching anime. I'm not a very good reader, so mm. I prefer watching watching and listening over reading generally. Yeah. Um, and it's, so no, I, I love anime. I think anime is fantastic. But I'm a bit out of the loop because I've kind of had to concentrate on other things recently. Recently, so, you watched Ghost in the Shell, right? I watched Ghost in the Shell the other night, the movie, yeah. We were talking about that. So yeah, what do you we were think talking about, about that. that what do you think about that? I mean, I liked it. I thought it was a, a highly enjoyable film. I think the whitewashing thing has distracted everybody from the film itself completely. I think so. You know, um, which I find you know, very unfortunate. But it's sort of... I don't know, man. It's a, it's an interesting argument. I kind of understand both sides of the fence. Like, mm. um, everyone's saying, well, they shouldn't have changed it from a Japanese character... But then I always understand, you know, it's Hollywood, and unless you have a Japanese actor who's mm, going to mm, work mm, for that mm, mm, role, what do you do, you know? So I kind of understand both sides of the fence. Um, at the end of the day, I decided to look past the whiteness of Scarlett Johansson <laughs> and try and just enjoy the film, uh, which I did. But I was actually very distracted from all the scenes shot in Hong Kong. Because I used to live in Hong Kong, I could oh, see yeah, the yeah, scenes, yeah. and so I just, every scene shot in Hong Kong, I just kept thinking about, where is that? I, oh. know, I know I, it's one of these three places, and so I was just looking at the background, trying to figure out which cool. place it was. You know? So maybe that's the reason, because you enjoy more what's in... Well, I, mean, I found um, that distracting from the story. Uh, that was the challenge for me. Oh, okay, 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 okay. But I, I mean, I think it was, um, you know, obviously visually spectacular. Um, and... Um, I think as a as a cinema experience, on the whole, a positive one. You know, mm. there are the three D. I find quite distracting at times as well, because I find because I don't normally wear glasses, yeah. so having glasses on my face is already oh, really? a bit I... strange for me. Um, but then you know the three D image. If you move your head, it yeah, yeah, does know. that. You know, so I find that quite challenging, and that mm. can distract me from the story itself too. Naoko loved it. Naoko ghost in the shell. Daisuke Kyoto, eh? Daisuke. Yeah, she loved it. She loved yeah. it. Love it. Right. <laughs> Love, Love it. it. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> so, on, eh? Okay, so next question from Hector. Hector! When will you return to Spain? Um, uh, do I, do I, do I, I... Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. We'll be back! We'll be back in Spain this year! But I can't say when. <laughs> My apologies. My apologies. Okay. Uh, Andres asks you, what's Andres. your favorite metal band? Oh, God. So difficult. There are so many. Mm. I think if I had to give it to one, mm -hmm. it's probably Rammstein. Rammstein I think. Mm. It's probably Rammstein. If I have to pick only one. But there's mm -hmm. so many mm -hmm. that are so good and have influenced me constantly. Okay. Um, and then also, you know, my tastes kind of adapt all the time. So I kind of have what I'm listening to right now. And that'll kind of shift mm. on and whatnot. I love Rammstein. Rammstein when I was like, I don't know, 16, 17. Yeah. You're a Rammstein fan. I had no idea. Yeah. yeah. You know, I, I tense a lot. When I when I was young, I loved, like, you know, like, hardcore music. Great. Like, rock. Really? Yeah. I had no idea. And now really? it's, like, classical. Like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm getting older, I think. I don't know. That's fantastic. <laughs> I had no idea you're a yeah. hardcore fan. That's brilliant. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Oh uh, I will ask you, have you been any injured when you were in a show? Oh, that's fantastic. You just read a foreign language. Yeah. And <laughs> that's spot. Spanish, man. Yeah, yeah. Debito is a superhero, by the way, people. <laughs> English, Spanish, Japanese, all fluent. Yeah. It's very impressive. <laughs> and he just switches between them. I find when I have to go to a different language, I need to, like, yeah, go yeah, through switch, this, switch this on. mental gear <laughs> shift, you know? You're just like, bang, bang, yeah, bang, yeah, going yeah, between yeah. all three at once. It's fantastic. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry, what was the question? Okay, uh, if you have if you had any kind of injury when you were in a show, if you fall down, if you, I don't know. Um, touch wood, I have not had bad injuries in, oh, I've not had them in the ring, mm. touch wood. Like, I, you come out of the ring 
bruised and beaten up, but I've never had a bad injury in the ring. Touch wood. Or so wow. I don't. It's a training where I get all the bad ones because it's a training where you push yourself and mm-hmm, you kind of try to go mm-hmm, to mm-hmm. new levels. So the worst one I've had was a broken ankle because that just changed everything that I could do forever. Because after I broke my ankle, I messed with my confidence mm-hmm. to jump high, you know? So at the time I was doing gymnastics all the time, you know, back salts and everything then when i broke my ankle yeah. then i couldn't commit to the jumps anymore because i was had like a psychological block because uh, i was scared of my ankle again i yeah. have had that before it's the worst it's horrible actually but you, um, you can now even now well i mean you know i'm kind of too heavy to jump out high now you know really? yeah my jump no my jumping my jumping got you know okay. decreased a lot this is a long time ago when i was thinner oh, and okay. it was like popping all kinds of oh. cool stuff um so that's the worst injury i've had ever but in the ring, it's um, it, it, I haven't had bad ones in the ring. I've had bad ones on stage. Interestingly, the live show is actually more dangerous than wrestling a lot of the time. Mm. Yeah, I got a bad one in Houston wrestling recently. I got body slammed on the stage during the slow show. Yeah, <laughs> that hurt a lot. Wow. I, something weird happened, and I got hurt a lot. So the next day after the show, I was limping around everywhere, hurt my hip. Wow. Hence, I went to get this therapeutic massage yesterday. And this massage was the most intense massage of my life. How was it? Oh my god! Was How it, did okay, you do so it? it was like a, it was like a like lymph. Bad, bad, bad. <laughs> well, it was just super painful. It was like a lymph drainage massage, uh-huh. right? I've never experienced anything like this. This yeah. woman, like, she used like the point of her thumb or something, and I'm like, Presley. well, she like strummed my ribs <gasps> like a guitar. I was like, God, I get you. Like, went in between the ribs and did. It was insane. It was insane. Wow. It, it was, was like t- tiny or something like that, right? I was Japanese. Some mm. Japanese massage, yeah? Okay. Some lymph drainage thing. I don't know if it's new or old or what, nice but it hurt a lot. Thank you for your question. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So the next question is like, did he or did he? I'm not sure. How the hell do you clean... <laughs> How the hell do I clean all the avocado after I'm done bathing in it? From Rini. Thank you, sweetheart. Let me let me explain. Let <laughs> me explain. <laughs> for yourself and those who might not be familiar with the context of this question. Okay. Um, as part of my beauty care routine, okay. my hair and skin okay. care routine, yeah. uh, once every two weeks, I fill a bathtub uh-huh. with avocado and egg yolks, and I submerse my whole body into the uh, avocado egg yolk no way, real? mixture, real? of course. Real? I submerse my whole body, including all my hair, well, with a go. straw leading to the surface, allowing me to breathe, and I bathe in the avocado egg yolk mix for 20 minutes. Um, then get out. That's an excellent question, Rainy. No, no. How do they know that? I wonder. Do you have any video oh, I've about t- that? I told them before. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Right. I was surprised about that. Like, like, I get asked about my hair care, <laughs> okay, you okay, see. Okay, okay, so, okay. but of course, the hair care. I have hair everywhere, which must be cared yeah, for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it needs yeah, to be yeah. an immersive experience. So I submerse myself into a bathtub. I should pr- prove that. I should try that. They should. He's doing good. Uh, the question is, how do I get the avocado out of the bathtub? Um, so in Japan, the garbage system works on days. So you have to throw certain things away on certain days, like your plastic bottles one day and your paper the next day. And so so I uh, wait till the day when you're allowed to throw away food stocks. And I have to do my bath the night before that. And so basically after my bath, I have this huge thing. I don't know what it's called. It's like a bucket on a stick. It's like an enormous spoon. Mm-hmm. And I scoop all the avocado out of the bath, dump it in a plastic bag with this enormous spoon. And then just put it straight onto the street. <laughs> yeah. Then hose the tub. Hose the but tub. But it, it, it might be like tons of, right? Tons Sorry. of avocado. There's right? a ton of, <laughs> just a flippant ton of avocado. Every week, every two weeks, the garbage guys must come and go, what the hell right? is this? Yeah. <laughs> okay. But I can't do it any other time because it's going to go, it's going to rot if I leave it, you know? So I have to do it the night before food stocks collection. Mm. You know, mm, okay, next question. All right. I'm, I'm worried about that. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> what the hell? Okay. Um, can I teach headbanging to okay. Debbie? Okay. I, I, assume I, I, Debbie... I have never done that. How, you ever bang? Never. I okay. know it's like something like that, but don't Well, that. that's right. So it's okay. like having long hair is a huge yeah, advantage yeah, because I, I, I move my, <laughs> head, my head a little bit and the hair flicks. When you have short hair, it's a, it's more difficult because you can feel your brain rattling and your right? skull, yeah. right? But basically, there's two variations. David. Okay. You're okay. gonna have a head banging okay. lesson. Okay. 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 You have two variations. So the first one is you operate from the neck. Okay. okay. So it's just from the neck, pop it down, boom, <laughs> boom. So if you have a beat on the beat, you hit it every time on the beat. That's it. You used to be hardcore. You know what's <laughs> okay. up. The second one, that's good, that's good. You okay. be careful with it your hurt. neck. <laughs> and I recommend neck stretches okay, and okay. strengthening exercises. I should make a video on them, actually. That'd be okay, yeah. The second is you can he'll bang from the hip. Yeah. So your whole your whole body lunges okay. forward. So on the beat. Oh. That's right. That's right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's good. How you enjoy Because this is much more neck and head.
have head heavy. I prefer like this. Yeah, it's more of a full body experience, so you're more supported and lean. But you know, I feel like I never dizzy. Even. <laughs> Do you? You gotta get used to it. <laughs> okay, okay. That's a good question. Thank you. Yeah, That's yeah, the first yeah. time I've had headbang requests. <laughs> right? Teach right? headbang requests. I like that. It's good. <laughs> okay. What bands are on my playlist right now? That's an excellent question. Thank you, Joan. Right now, um, I just started listening to Wage War. Who are fantastic. Mm. Uh, Upon a Burning Body, I love them very much. I, um, I just discovered a Japanese band last night named um, Wild Wild Rage? Mild Rage. Wild Rage? I mm. think it's Mild Rage. I'm sorry. Mild Rage, I think they're excellent. They are freaking great because they have two screamers. Mm -hmm. One's a guy and one's a girl. So it means that the screams are deep and high. Oh, cool. And like so instrument, cool. right? Okay, okay. Yeah. So I discovered them last night. They're very cool. I really like Crystal Lake, who are a Japanese band. I really like Her Name in Blood, who are a Japanese mm -hmm, band. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. And then I've been listening to The Word Alive a lot recently as well. Mm -hmm. So that's my current playlist. Thank you, Joe. Okay, okay we got to be faster with these questions. <laughs> There's no time for chit-chat. No time. Do I like Sailor Moon? Yes, I do. Very much so. <laughs> yeah, we also like Sailor Moon. Yeah, I love it. Sailor Moon is excellent, I think. Okay. From now, Cole. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. So, 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 so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, to everybody who's giving a lot of likes, thank you very much. We have we have a 500 liker. Thank you very, very much. Ah, oh, my daisuke. Oh, arigatou gozaimasu. Mitomeru yo. Thank you very much. I appreciate your support very much. You're lovely. Good stuff. What is some of my favorite video games? Mm. Well, okay, so. Um, I want to know about that. I want to know about that. Well, I'm, at the moment I'm playing, I'm still on the first one, but I'm playing Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. You know, mm -hmm. that the Lord of the Rings game? Yeah. Yeah. But I must admit, I haven't played games for properly mm. for years and years and years. Wow. Because I kind of, you know, had other stuff to do. And I knew that if I started playing a game, it would just distract me from mm -hmm. life. So I couldn't, right? But recently, I kind of went, you know what? I want to play a game because, damn it, I want to play a game. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I started okay, playing okay. Middle Earth Shadow okay. of Mordor. We so should talk about that. We should talk about we that. Talk about that. <laughs> but like that and the Street Fighters. The Street Fighters are my kind of all-time I favorite. love that game. Street Fighters. The yeah. bomb. You can't go wrong, right? You best. know, like many years ago when we went to the recreative games to play, yeah. like... Yeah, you had to play it. Do you remember thing? the yeah. joystick like <laughs> those were the days? Yeah. In Japan they do it like that, right? Yeah, That's, yeah. It's, it's they totally they do this totally as as they mime games like this. I use the joystick like that. that yeah, was yeah, 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 yeah. In yeah. my country was like that. Yeah. I love the game. Yeah, me too. Street Fighter is the best, isn't it? Who's your favorite character? In Street Fighter. Maybe G G Gil. I don't know. Guile. Yeah, 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 really. Yeah. You're like the American. Wow. Yeah. Because you know he was strong. Was he cool. was strong. He's a guy. <laughs> He's a guy. That's very true. He's a jacked up guy. Yeah, He's yeah, up yeah. yeah. Good okay. Stuff. So. Okay. I think. Uh, I think my question got shut down by management. Okay. Huh? Was that? I don't understand, I don't understand. what that means at all. Hi. Hi. One moment. Okay, Naoko is saying, Daniel, you think your question was shut down by management. Naoko is management. She says she hasn't seen the question. We don't know what happened. So, what, write again, please. Let's, we should look at the screen. Oh, I've got to look at the screen or he told me his paper. Ah, ah, okay. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> What's my favorite vocal exercise? Thank you very much, Rini. Um, favorite vocal exercise? Oh, favorite? I don't know. I haven't. I haven't. I don't know. What's my favorite vocal exercise? I have a kind of a warm up that I go mm. through. Is a, what, 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 what's the question? Sorry. What's my favorite vocal exercise? Oh, I think up. Uh, do you do like ah? Uh -huh, yeah, I do. Like I do the scales. Oh, really? I do the scales and everything, but I do them as a warm up. So I don't really do them as an exercise. I kind of got my training done and then moved on from exercise. Don't you practice your shouting stuff like or? Yeah. But it's it um, got to be harder, I think. I don't well, know. it's harder once you're dancing. Once you're dancing, it becomes very difficult because you can't, first of you can't concentrate as hard because mm. you've got too much stuff to yeah, do. Yeah, 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 yeah. But also the noise can move around, like the placement of the noise can move around. So I guess my, my favorite exercise is just drilling the songs and concentrating on getting the, the sound correct mm. and making it come from the correct place. Thank you, Rini san Thank you very much. I want to hear what your favorite vocal exercise is, young lady. <laughs> Stuff. Okay. All right. Is it possible for a Latin American to make a famous manga in Japan? Oh, Let's ask Debit. Is it fake possible mm -hmm. for a Latin American mm -hmm. to make a famous manga in Japan? Mm -hmm. Difficult, difficult, I think. First, because you need visa, you know. In Japan. Do you need a flipping visa? And you know how difficult it is to get visa, I right? I know how difficult it is to get visa. I also know that. So first, I think my, uh, my recommendation is draw a lot, use internet, because now internet I think is the is the, mm. has the power to... Mm get any dream mm. become real right mm. i think if you uh, pause your art and if you have how to say something original way to draw or something like that and you use internet 
maybe you will become famous. I, I have a lot of, there is a, actually now there are a lot of uh, mangakas who became famous because internet. Is that right? Well, so, fo- foreign manga guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, really? And now in Japan, there is a lot of events where uh, foreign uh, guys or girls come come to Japan and they can sell their mangas also. Yeah, so well, you right. should try to come to Japan to this we event should, should definitely, yeah. and try to sell your stuff. And maybe sometimes there are companies who w- are watching. So Is that right? You should try. Well, you should definitely try. Um, I have a question, Debit. Do you think uh, for foreign manga artists, because my understanding is that manga and anime is a very you know closed, closed. and specific world. Um, and from what I'm told, it's very difficult to get in if you're not Japanese, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm, yeah. So for foreigners, for foreigners who are interested in you know working in Japan, yeah. Japanese, do you think their foreignness? Do you think they should try to use it as a strength, or do you think they should try and be as Japanese as possible? I think they should to try, not like foreigner or not like Japanese. They should, they should try like, I don't know, anyone has their, how to say, they can put that essence mm-hmm. in the mm-hmm. art so mm-hmm. they should to show what they want to show right. I, they, they shouldn't be like foreigner or they shouldn't be like japanese they only themselves okay so you think they you really just think focus on the their own uniqueness yeah yeah okay i see all right well i think that's a good attitude generally i mean I, I, it's been my experience in japan that my foreignness colors everything mm-hmm. and there's just no way to escape mm-hmm. it every conversation i have is colored by my foreignness so i think if you are a foreigner to come to japan be aware of that be aware of your unique style yeah, is going to be seen yeah, as yeah. that's foreign. So that's not the Japanese way. That's some foreign way. And the task for you will be to get that um, accepted by the mm-hmm, people who mm-hmm, you need mm-hmm, it accepted mm-hmm. by. So um, I would say, uh, I don't know because I don't know enough about <laughs> that world, but I would say go for it. Yeah, yeah. Go, for, go for your dream. Hell yeah, totally. Okay. Do I, do I like Sailor Moon like Debbie? Um uh, it's, uh, but but we 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 have already answered that question. Well, that's because this same guy is a friend of mine. By the way. Oh, I see. I understand. <laughs> okay. I understand. Okay. Good stuff. okay. Right. Do you have any favorite wrestler? Yeah, I like um I liked <laughs> mine. Are favorite wrestlers from the Attitude Era. So nowadays, I think uh, Kota Ibushi and Kenny Omega oh. are fantastic and the best wrestlers on earth. I think. Um, but I liked I like all the character wrestlers. So I used to like Big Daddy V. Mm-hmm. Do you remember him? Do you, do you, did you watch wrestling back in the nineties? No. Big Daddy V was this huge, hugely like obese black guy. And his gimmick was he just always was looking for love. Oh. Always looking for love. So it was looking for love. I All mean, the time. It's hilarious. When I was young, I remember there was a guy with a big mustache. Hulk Hogan? I don't know the name. It's, it's like, probably Hulk Hogan. Yeah. 80s, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah probably Hulk Hogan. A lot of them had mustaches back then. <laughs> and um, it was like dry or like, something yeah, like that, right? I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure yeah, I was yeah, 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 yeah. I shaved one of them in once. Oh, it was hilarious. Should, me, I want to tell that. this story once uh, really quickly. When I was in drama school, we did this play that had a full-on beard for. Oh. And so after we finished the play, the beard had been a bit annoying. So I wanted to chop it back a bit. So what I did was I left mutton chops. So I shaved like down here and down here. So I left these big mutton chops and a moustache that went like that. And it was fantastic walking around because people would talk to me and I'd see their eyes going from their like my eyes to my lip like that. Mm-hmm. Their eyes darting back and forth. It was fantastic. <laughs> it was very funny. And people would come up to me and they'd be like, yeah, my friend said, and they'd just be looking at my moustache, my friend said that I had to meet this guy. He's a great guy. And they're staring at my moustache all the time. It was great. Yes. What is inspired by someone to create this character named Lady Beard? That's an, oh, that's an excellent question. Um... Uh, the short answer is, I found that I was, I was more successful at life Mm -hmm. when wearing a dress than when not wearing a dress. And so, um, Lady Beard, which started as a joke, essentially, Mm -hmm. uh, became my life because I could operate better in the world as a crossdresser than I could as a normal guy, which is ironic because I think that's probably the opposite experience of the majority of cross-dressers yeah, so. who probably want to wear dresses and then get discriminated against because of that. Um, yeah, it was the other way around. I, so <laughs> I, I put on a dress and suddenly it was easier to get everything done. Once you put on a dress, everyone's like, ah, you're in a dress! Whoa! Here, have some stuff. You want help with this? I'll give you help mm-hmm, with it, you mm-hmm, know? Mm-hmm, so, mm-hmm. of course, there's still challenges. Because then the next time someone sees you in a dress, they're like, you're still in a dress. You know, so, yeah. so that's what I kind of get. But that was cool. So anyway, there is an interview in my channel. If you go to, right. the, to my channel, the Bitcoin Japan, mm. the name like you know channel, uh, there is an interview and you, you can know more details about... Yeah, we had a long conversation yeah, when I first right, got here. Yeah, a long yeah. conversation. It was good.
Okay. So, oh, right, let's go on here. The liberal was very funny. Was like, well, oh, what's, what's Thank Nico, you, Rini. What's Nico Nico Nino? Do you know that? I don't know that. I, that, Nico Nico Nino. I don't understand. Oh, was that a request? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't understand the question. It sorry, sorry, sorry. Like, well, so, okay. so. Uh, so we're going to do Nico Nico Nino together. Okay. Do you know what that is? Oh, I don't know that. Huh? Okay, so your hands are like this. Like that. Are you going to do this? You're going to go Nico Nico Nino. <laughs> okay? Okay. In that voice. Okay. Okay. At the same time or what? Yeah, at the same time. Okay. Say no. Nico Nico Nino. Yeah. Okay. So How do I take care of my long hair? Uh, refer to avocado question from earlier. <laughs> Slide into avocado egg joke, joke bar. <laughs> um, good stuff. What's my favorite book? Oh god, I don't read very much. I don't know. I'm sorry. Okay, I apologize. That's a good question though. Thank you very much, John. Okay, why did I leave Lady Baby? Okay, this is the question I get asked every single question mm. thing. Um, uh, abbreviating a long, long story. Um, well, there was a ton of drama, and then at the end of all the drama, they said. Uh, well, they were not prepared to give me a contract which would support my visa for Japan. So uh, I had no choice but to leave. So. Yeah. Cool. Okay, say. next one. Uh, where do you see yourself in five years? Oh, God, that's very Looks like interview question. Yeah. <laughs> Let's move. It's too, it's, I'm so, where it's do you too, see? <laughs> too big. Yeah, that's exactly right, right? Yeah, yeah. Tell me about yourself. Who is this? Who is this? Um, uh, it's, it's a, that's an extensive question. Um, global, I'll answer right back, global, globally active. Mm. Mm. So there's a lot more work to do in Japan. Mm. Um, I've got a lot more work to do in China too, but, um, also, you know, we're starting to work in America and the mm. Western world now. And so I kind of want to do some more work there. So global is the answer to that question. Thank okay, you very, so very much. It's probably five years. So Victor asks you, is that your real hair? Yes. You can pull it if you want to, Victor. You want okay. to pull it? Sorry. It's legit. Isn't it? It's the real deal. It's the I real know it's real. Deal. It's legit. It's my most powerful weapon. This slaps you across the face, David. Yeah. You are not coming back. <laughs> You're asleep for the next three weeks. Oh my god. Okay, so uh, next question. This is maybe for me. Oh, I see. How do you know Lady Bird? Right? This is for me. Maybe. I imagine that's the question for you. <laughs> if it was a question for me, it'd be an odd question. I'll do I don't know. Maybe you know yourself and you. <laughs> In I'll your just, dream or you something were, like you that. You were asleep and I materialized <laughs> yeah, yeah. in your bedroom. Hello, I'm Lady Bear and you're becoming male. <laughs> you know that looks it's like, like anime Fight Club. It's that like looks like anime. Club. You can make anime like that. I'm your Tyler Durden. This is Fight Club. <laughs> I'm David's alter ego. I'll drink some water while you answer that question. I'll drink some water while you answer that question. Well, anyway, I, you know, I have a channel called David in Japan where I talk about things about Japan, how to get busy, how to live here, how, uh, good things, bad things, weird things, and try to fix some uh, questions. Uh, what people think uh, have about this country. So I noticed that there wasn't anyone who talked about cross dressing. I was really interested about that. So I searched on the internet and I saw Tachibana, which is the manager of uh, Lady Bird, uh, has a how to say like ex exhibition. And I went there and I just after the exhibition finished, I just asked directly. I have a YouTube channel. I would love to talk with my viewers about what's cross how's cross dressing in Japan mm -hmm. and that. And they say, okay. I was like, what? Because for me, I was, for me, I thought you were going to say no. But no, I was surprised and I was happy, of course, that it's you say yes. <laughs> At the time, I couldn't speak Japanese. So I needed to have that conversation in English. You know? yeah, so yeah. no, but that was a conversation everyone wanted to have with me. And I couldn't do in Japanese. Yeah, yeah, time, yeah, so. yeah. No, I appreciated that. Thank you very much. Sir. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, so that's the reason you. because we know. And we we met like last time for, for what? Ah, for the PV, for uh, Deadly. That's right, that's that right. You PV, came to right? Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Devito came to the PV and shot behind the scenes. God yeah. bless. Yeah, good fun. So? All right. When am I coming to Osaka? Uh, I know when I'm coming to Nagoya, which is not Osaka. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> when are we going to uh, Nagoya? Why, why, why? <laughs> Ah, da, 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 da. Nagoya wa... Nagoya wa 6th of June. 18th of June we're in Nagoya, which is not Osaka. But that's my answer to your question. <laughs> I apologize. We can... <laughs> what? Am I excited about coming to Peru? Hell yes, I am. Thank you very much, Kat. I cannot wait to come to Peru. It's going to be fantastic. How, can I lift... How high can I lift my leg? Well, I can do the splits three ways. Ah, uh, two ways. So my, leg goes, my leg goes pretty hard, like yeah, that. so like, these are my legs. Yeah. I could do it. That way is yeah. the easiest way for me. Yeah. Then really? this way, this way is also good. This way I'm not so good. The right leg's a bit more stiff than the left leg. Yeah. But, so there's a difference between do like that or that? I didn't know that. Yeah, because, I thought it was similar. Well, no, because like, say you put your left leg forward, uh -huh. then the stretch is in your left hamstring and your right hip, hip flexor, right? Uh -huh. But you switch it the other way around. Now it's this 
hip and mm-hmm. this hamstring. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I find because the right leg is stronger, hence it's slightly is slightly less flexible. You know what I'm saying? Maybe because you use it more. Well, yeah, it's because it's preferred leg. That's, right. That's exactly right. Yeah. So I can lift my leg incredibly high. Is the answer to your question. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. Good stuff. Do I go to other idol shows like Death Rabbits? Yeah, we did a show with Death Rabbits um, not long ago. We did a show with Death Rabbits mm. on the 5th of April. But um, no, I do go to idol shows whenever I can. Idol and metal shows I go to whenever I possibly can. But it's hard because a lot of the time I do the same night as my shows. So mm. <laughs> it's challenging to get to. <laughs> but I do my best. Thank you very much. Excellent question. Should we scroll up a bit? Because yeah, I have yeah. a feeling there's a ton of questions up here that we missed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right. So yeah, so we've missed all this madness. Ah, it's because it does that, you yeah, see? Yeah, have been having ah, Bless me. Ah, bless you. <laughs> That's speed. And we have already done um, that. We have already done that. We have already done that. Okay. What's that? Uh, do I think my persona would work in WWE? That's a good question. Um, I think uh, WWE of a few years ago, yes, it would definitely have. But WWE is currently trying to do this thing when they make themselves seem like a real sport. So, um, I mean, it's, you know, I don't know if it would work under that context now. Well, well, my impression was, because they're trying to do this reality era thing and seem like a real sport, there's not really a place for the bearded cross-dressing five-year-old in that model. But that being said, at WrestleMania, they brought back the Hardy Boys, who were doing this ridiculous delete, delete thing. So that's not real in any way. So the answer to your question is yes, I do. Thank you very much. In fact, uh, yeah, if we can get to get do some stuff with WWE, that'd be awesome. See how we go. Mm-hmm. See how we go. Can I give Debito a suplex? What's that? What's that? It's a suplex is when I grab you around the waist, pick you up, and dump you on the ground off over the back okay, of my head. Yeah, maybe not. I was going to say, that's, uh, that's a request that I think... <laughs> Yesterday I came back from Fukuoka, and you know. <laughs> I'm already dead. <laughs> request that Debito should answer. Um, what if Raker maybe... goes, goes to give you a suplex? Ah! 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 is too small. Kumanji's got to get in the gym more. She's got to hit more bicep curls so that she can... Um... But I'm curious about one thing. Suplex How do you people. do, you know, like, get, like... There is Which something. Would you do... I, I don't know. Maybe? Mm-hmm. When, how do you do that? Well, how do you how do you give it to someone, or how do you get out of it? How do you so, give it to someone? I want to get done that. Oh, okay, very good. How, how right. is it? How is it? Okay, so that's right. We, we can do suplex, but pivot a little bit. Okay. Okay, good stuff. So you're behind you the person, okay. right? Yeah. Right, so the left hand, or yeah. whichever hand you like, yeah. goes around the neck like so. <gasps> oh my All right, from here you shoot your right hand out. Okay. And you put your hand uh, at the top of the right bicep, and well, then your right hand goes over the back of the uh, head. And you can already feel. It. Yeah. Yeah. So then, if I squeeze a little bit, you can feel that, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Cool. So that's, that's how you. Wow. Choke, that's how you choke someone out because you it stop hurts. the blood flow to the brain through these arteries. You see. Okay. okay. Good stuff. Oh my god. Thank you. Sorry. You're right. <laughs> yeah. 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 Raker fell. Off. Raker. Ah! Single ball. Oh, Single ball. <laughs> she get back to her bicep curls. Look at her. She's pumping it. Look at her. Dun 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 dun. Excellent. Good job, Kumaji Reka. Good stuff. All right. You're completely adorable. Thank you. Ah, you're very kind. Will I come to the US again? Oh, we better believe it. In July, I and Reka are coming to Chicago for Anime Midwest, and it's the first ever Deadlift Lolita live show outside Japan. So please come. I can't wait to see you, my people in the US. Ah, you're just going to go issue No, I love the US. I go it as often as I possibly can. Where's your favorite place in America? I haven't been to that well, many. You... I haven't been to that many. I like all the places I've been to, actually. Mm. Um, I, uh, yeah, so uh, the place I've been to are New York, LA. Mm. So obviously those two places are both awesome because they're insane. New York was great for me because it's like stepping into an episode of Seinfeld. Mm, mm, you know? mm, mm, mm. New York, LA. And then I've been to um, Houston and Austin in Texas. I really like Texas because everything's bigger there. I guess like, the people of Texas are very cool. Uh, and then Phoenix. And I really liked Phoenix because mm. Phoenix seems to have a bad... I don't know people be, were like, yeah, Phoenix. I really liked Phoenix. It was hot, which is something I like. The winter kills me, you see. So, yeah. so hot was very, very good for me. It was really hot. Um... Yeah, no, we went like we went to the Grand Canyon when we were in Phoenix. I had a fantastic time in Phoenix. So everywhere that I've been in the US has been a purely positive experience. I've never had a bad time in the US. Right. Cool. Where have you been in the US? I've been in California. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. Well, San Francisco. Yeah. Oh, San Francisco. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And nice? I love San Francisco. Yeah. Yeah, now I've got like San Francisco too. Yeah. But you know, when I went to San Francisco, I felt like it was similar to Japan. That's interesting, really. I don't know other places because I haven't been there, but what do you, you mean, know, the people. Or? Yeah. Sorry, I, was I mean, I got right? lost 
every single time, even really? if I use Google Maps, you really? know? Wow. <laughs> I'm not good for location, so wow. I ask people, excuse me, I, I, I lost, can you help me? Yeah, where, where do you? they were really friendly. Great. Yeah, for example, when I got in the bus yeah. and I didn't know where to get off, yeah. and the driver told me, okay, I will tell you. I was like, what the fuck? Great. People are really nice. So. You know, from movies, you feel like people is gross. And, <laughs> but you know, we have, I, I think even Japanese have that image. Because really? movies, being a big yeah, nasty, because really? of course we, we I have been there, so we don't, we only have image from movies. Yeah, and if you have a bad image, yeah, like, that's your image like you know, black people, black people stolen and stuff like that, mm. it's a bad image about America, I think. But um, so when I was in Mexico, the Mexico said something similar. They felt like their global image was purely one of cartels from popular media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mexico was fantastic. Everyone was super lovely. We had a wonderful time. Yeah, my friend was working there, and he yeah. told me it was great, was great. Good. Great. People was really nice, so friendly. Nice. We did this thing in Mexico. This is a bit of a sidetrack. I'm sorry. I apologize. We yeah, went yeah, off, off yeah, San Francisco. Yeah. We did this thing in Mexico when we were last there, when we were hanging out with Mexican Lady Beard, and there's a Mexican Lady Beard too. <laughs> and he took us to this like lake where you ride these boats, right? And you go into the lake, and there's just boats everywhere. And like, if you want to buy food, you pull up next to the food boat uh, and buy. And there's like marinachis on a boat playing the guitars and singing and stuff, so you can get them to get onto your boat. And like, yeah. it's it was awesome. We had such a good day. It was fantastic. Cool. Mexico's I was wicked. There. wicked. We have a blast there. Damn. Uh, do well. I watched Eurovision this year. Uh, do you know Eurovision? How you heard about that? Yeah, of course. Really? Yeah, Eurovision's yes. hilarious. Um, I don't know. When is it? Is it soon? I don't know. Is it May? It's in May. I don't know what day it will Laura, be this year. If you can is such, I will definitely watch. So, who is who is the one to watch in Eurovision this year? I would love know? to watch it there. <laughs> Can you imagine you in Eurovision? That'd be awesome. You should be there. You should be there. The Australian. We could be the wild card entry. We were the wild card entry a few years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Guy Sebastian won it, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the Australian won it. Guy Sebastian won, right? He's from my city. Yeah. Do you know him? Not personally. Okay, well, I don't know. No, you know. That's right. That's fair enough. No, he lives in the world. The world is small sometimes, you know. That's very true. Okay, so how do you meet Reika? Oh, well, Reika kind of came onto the scene in Japan in a big way last year when she released her first image DVD and started wrestling and whatnot as this cute, muscly girl. Mm -hmm. So so she's a cute, muscly girl, and I'm a cute, muscly girl. Um, it was sort of inevitable that we would either, you know, it was sort of inevitable that we'd, you know, get together at some mm -hmm. point, right? So um, first time I met her, uh, we were wrestling on the same show. Oh. So I met her then in the locker room, and then we invited her to be uh, a guest on a talk show that we did. And uh, that went really, really well. And because that went so well, we said, let's make a group together. And so now we're in Deadlift Florida together. Whoa. That was fast, right? Win! For the win! <laughs> it was fast. It was good. She's fantastic, though. I have nothing but praise for this girl. She's wonderful but to she's work really with. She's really nice. I, I talked oh. with her, too. Talk oh, yeah, you did. She's fantastic. She's so nice. She's so sweet. She works incredibly hard. She's really happy and lovely all the time. So she's a joy to be around. I have nothing but good and things to say really about her. she works really hard, right? I mean, the workout hard. is... Well, her workout, she works very hard. But then when, like, when we're working, she takes everything very seriously. Works very hard. Hi! Okay, 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 okay. Hi, okay. All right, okay. Okay. How do I put ears during concerts? Thank you. Great question, Rini. Thank you. Mm. I actually don't. I need to do more of that. They get sore. They get sore. And uh, after the show, they're ringing and my hearing's very bad. So um, I don't protect my ears and I'm going to pay for it dearly later in life. I already do. That's one of the challenges I have mm. with the languages is that I can't hear very well. So... Yeah, if the yeah, no that. room is noisy a lot of the time I can't hear people so people always think that I can't understand but uh, when actual fact I just hear but you're hearing there but it's very frustrating because when you're a foreigner and you say pardon me what people just assume instantly that you can't understand they never occurs to them that maybe maybe they were talking like this and <laughs> you know and, <laughs> no and the Japanese do that quite a lot yeah. you know? they, like, and you're like what Why what talking? open so mouth you know and then but then they go, oh, this foreigner can't understand me. So that's been a, yeah, a bit of a challenge for me. <laughs> By the way, we, uh, the live will finish in 10 minutes. So 10 please minutes. ask you all it's the questions you want to do. It's a hustle. Lady Beard's the best. Thank you very much, Red Dragon Jefferson. Ah, you're very kind. Thank you. Thank you, Rini, for your question too. What are my favorite place in the world? Why? Please send me greetings. I am April. Hi, April. Ah, ah, you're the month we're in now. Good to see you, April. Um, I mean, my favorite place in the world, I think I probably have to give to my hometown of Adelaide. But that's because it's my home. Yeah. You know? So it's where I grew up and everything. And you can never really replace that, can you? So How, how is your hometown? Oh. It's beautiful. I mean, it's very small, but it's beautiful. It's like a million people. But well, one million you know? people is small. <laughs> My hometown is like eight thousand people. Only. Oh, so eight thousand. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, you win. Yeah, it's like high. You win in that department. <laughs> the small hometowns. Um, no, it's it's beautiful. It's uh kind of 
uh, the Australian Centre for Wine. So we have a lot of wineries nearby, and I guess the climate is the I'm best. I'm not there, okay. Yeah, you you should have made me. No, yeah, come down. <laughs> the climate is like, apparently, it's good for wine growing, I guess. We're growing grapes, it must be. So yeah, we have yeah, all yeah. these vineyards and stuff really close cool. by. So, um, yeah, it's very nice. I like it a lot. I would like to hear more. What's your that? hometown like? It's like, it's similar. You really? know, 8,000 people. It's like... So 8 or 80? 8. 8. 8,000 people. Yeah. It's like too wow. small. There's a lot, you know, we, we live from... What's it? Agriculture? I, I don't know. Agriculture. Yeah. yeah. That's so like, we have vines, vines, a lot of vines too. That's like, I reckon in Tokyo, you know that really tall tower mansion that's over that way? Mm. I reckon there's more than 8,000 people in that building alone. Really? We think about it's what, 40 floors, right? Oh, okay. How okay. many flats are there on each floor? Maybe, I don't know how many, maybe 10? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, let's say there's two people in every one of them. So that's 20 people per floor times 40. Oh, it's only 800. Wow. I was vastly wrong. You've got, okay, 10 of those buildings. 10 of those buildings is your hotel. I was vastly wrong. Well, a lot of that's, people. A lot of people. That's Ladybird versus Mathematics. That's what that was. Just so. I saw you acted on a drama or movie. Are you going to do more movie acting jobs? Oh. I think Ray Tan has a couple of those too from Alberto. Thank you very much, Alberto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was an actor before I did any of this. Before any of this began, I was an actor. Um, yeah. Hence, no, I would uh, love to act more. I love acting. It's fantastic. Thank you very much, Alberto. That's an excellent question. How could I contact you from Ryan? Put a thing on my Facebook on my Twitter. Yeah. But at Ladybeard underscore Japan on Twitter or just Ladybeard on Facebook write things on there bam bam that's how you do this. bam thank you very much Ryan tell us some anecdote of you kick some oh, oh. I want to hear about that All right, you cool. told so, me about that I'll tell you this alright okay good fun so you um so yeah okay alright so there was a day when I was in Hong Kong right so I used to live in Hong Kong and so I had just done my show and afterwards I had a friend from Australia in mm. town so he came to the show, and after the show, we're hanging out together, and I'm in my dress and everything, and we're hanging out in, uh, like, I don't know where we were going, but we stopped at the 7-Eleven, right? Mm -hmm. so we stopped at the 7-Eleven to get Coke and whatnot. Yeah. Um, so I'm drinking, I had, I remember I was had standing there, and I had, I was holding, like, my laptop and everything in this hand. Yeah. I had a drink in this hand, yeah. right? And so this guy comes into the 7-Eleven, there's quite a lot of these guys in Hong Kong, he's like an old English guy who moved to Hong Kong to be an English teacher or whatnot, realized life was easy there, just never left, right? Um, and was a drunk. So this drunk old dude, he staggers in, he's like, are oh, you wearing a dress? I'm like, yeah, I'm wearing a dress. Um, <laughs> so he's kind of going, oh, yeah, making, you're, ma yeah, you're wearing yeah, a dress, yeah, oriented yeah, noises. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes off, he gets his beer or whatever. So there's this uh, young Canadian couple there too. So this drunk dude's talking to them and they're clearly talking about my dress. I'm just talking to my friend and we're chatting and whatnot. They keep doing this. He's kind of looking at me. They kind of look at this couple and talking. Me, look at this couple and talking. Then he does this, right? I had like a low cut dress on. Okay. He reaches over and goes, Doosh! and grabs this huge, like, handful of my yeah. chest hair. And I see his hips go, and cock, ready to rip my chest hair out. Now, this happens a lot of the time when you have chest hair, you explode, yeah, people yeah. grab it, and they think it's hilarious. Yeah. Normally, the defense I would use if someone grabbed my chest hair is I'd grab the hand, Ow. right? Oh, yeah. Sorry, you okay? I'm, yeah, sorry. Yeah, no, wait, wait. I'm really sorry. Yeah. Normally, I'd grab the hand, right? You'd grab one hand or two hand either way, because that's some ripping the hair yeah, out, right? Yeah, yeah. So you hold them to you, and then you deal with them in whatever way you're going to bring here. You can talk to them, or you can, you know, you can, uh, respond yeah, yeah, whatever yeah. you do, right? So, anyway, wow. so he grabbed me, and he, he was ready to go. There was no time, right? I got my laptop in this hand, so I can't drop that. I got glass bottles in this hand, so I can't drop them, oh, yeah. right? Um, so you did like head or? So I kicked him in the groin. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, I love this story because it's a martial arts nerd yeah, story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What he did, right, when he, when he like pushed my chest, he pushed all my weight onto my back foot, which meant that there was no weight on my front foot, which meant it was really, it, it was like the fastest thing to do yeah. was just like bang, I kick him in the groin. So I kicked a man in the groin. <laughs> a man attacked me, I kicked him in the groin. And then he left me alone. That's that story. <laughs> thank you very much. Five minutes. Okay. Will I watch your revision this year? We just answered that question. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Will, I do, will I do a Sean Connery or Schwarzenegger impersonation? What? Let's, let's, do, <laughs> let's do Connery because everyone always does Schwarzenegger. So we'll do Connery. But I haven't seen Sean Connery do anything for a long, long time. I feel sorry for Sean Connery because I have an interview with him about League of Extraordinary Gentlemen in which he said, I was off of the Matrix and I said, that's a bit silly. Yeah. I don't want to do that. And then I was offered Lord of the Rings, and I said, that's a bit silly. I don't want to do that. Then they were both very successful. So when I was offered League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, I said, well, I have to do this. And I felt sorry for Sean, because really, out of those three, oh League, my of, God, League my of Extraordinary God. Gentlemen really was not the one that <laughs> stood out. God bless. I don't mean that there's any kind of diss to anyone involved in the film. I just felt sorry for Sean. Thank you. I don't know if that's an accurate impersonation. Why? Well, I haven't seen I Sean Connery in 10 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder. Have I ever.
eating hummus. I'm a huge hummus fan. Like, that's right, Naoko made me hummus one day. Yeah, mm? Naoko made hummus for me. Yeah, yeah, arigato gozaimasu. Yeah. Naoko made delicious hummus. She's really good cook, right? She's good I saw your picture things. every day on Facebook, like, oh my good. god. Naoko's a very good cook. So... I have eaten hummus. Thank you, Rini. Thank you, sweetheart. What's my perfect night out? Whoa, perfect night out! It's a good one. Um, it would have to involve some cuteness, possibly some idols. Mm -hmm. Have to involve some um, death metal and destruction. Mm -hmm. And um, I would like it if it ended up with me going to sleep, like in, like in a, like with a, like a fluffy pillow. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. a, like yeah. a pink, fluffy, and possibly a fluffy duvet thing as well. Um, so. Putting those elements together, let's make my perfect night out. First, I go to an idol show full of cute idols, and it's really, really kawaii and awesome. I have a great time. Then after that, I go to a metal show, and I tear the pit apart, and it's a fantastic time. Whilst at the metal show, I make friends with a dinosaur, and uh, the dinosaur and I then proceed to an establishment called um, Softly Sleepy, <laughs> and... Um, I go to bed in a soft, fluffy pillow and duvet. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> the dinosaur was okay. my favorite part of the story. Thank you very much. <laughs> it was good. No link on fan page. I don't understand. Miss my fan page. His fan page. Show I'm not link sure. of my fan page. Okay. Anyway, if I you don't know how to do that. Well, we can do like that. Okay, we do that. Do you, do you know? Mine's like Lady Beard for Facebook. Facebook. Yeah, yeah, I would search it. Go to Facebook at Ladybeard or Twitter Ladybeard underscore right. Japan. You know what I'm saying? That's that's it. That's it. That, oh, mm, maybe that's why oh, I'm not sure. Oh, There's oh, a lot. Ladybeard of Texas. <laughs> Who's that? I don't know. I don't know. There's me. Okay. Okay. At Ladybeard oh, okay, Japan. Okay. That's me. Aha! Oh, look, Rini's put it up. Thank you, Rini. Okay. She got it done for us. Wow, thank you, sweetheart. What a good girl. <laughs> You're the best. Thank you, sweetheart. What's going on? Uh, questions. Uh, I worked at 7 Eleven. Uh, I see. Just, oh, I see. Uh, so, Fujiko worked at 7 Eleven and saw it go down. 7 Eleven's where it goes down. Oh, my God. <laughs> What's my shoe size? Tiny. Tiny. I have tiny yeah. little hands. Yeah, really? tiny. Yeah, you can see my hands as well. Tiny hands. Compared with yours? Yeah, tiny. Oh, oh. Tiny, oh, right? Oh. What did I say about a man with <laughs> tiny hands? I don't want to say nothing. I don't want to... <laughs> tiny gloves. Tiny gloves, David. <laughs> Tiny. What? <laughs> well, I have this, la this later on another site. This goes straight to YouTube, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. I know. This is a, what's a live stream in YouTube. Live stream YouTube. If you, my channel is uh, Debito in Japan. I will... Uh, wait a minute. Put Rake on the computer. Pa, 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 pa. <laughs> if we were like um, an espionage unit, Rake yeah. would be the computer geek one. Chica, 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 chica. She sends us coordinates of where the terrorists are. <laughs> One minute! One minute remains. Okay, we're doing some typing. All right, yeah, here we yeah, go. So yeah. we're putting up the link. The link. I guess, I guess we should start saying goodbye then if we only got one minute left. Oh, <coughs> we've been talking a lot. Thank you, everyone, for watching. It's wonderful to see you all. Oh, my beautiful kawaii people. Thank you all for <laughs> tuning in today. And I appreciate you all tuning in at various times around the world because it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. 5 a.m. and whatnot in some places. Thank you very much, everybody. In Spain, it's like 5 a.m. Yeah. It's crazy. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. It's wonderful to see you all. I hope you've enjoyed this. Oh, God. I've torn her. I've <laughs> you are torn, killing torn, little by little already. Right? Oh. thing. We're going to have to <laughs> Um, I really appreciate everybody asking me anything, and I really appreciate the anything's I was asked. Thank you very, very much, and I hope I can be asked anything again. Yeah, of course, soon. of course. And remember, everybody. you can follow me in. Uh, you can search Debito in Japan. Mm -hmm. I'm in YouTube, uh, Facebook, uh, any social network. And please go to YouTube and watch the first debut single of Deadly Florida called Six Pack Twins. I love you all. Ah. See you. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Wait a minute.